All right, guys, so welcome to something called Fear the Moon. Now, I believe this is chapter one of a three-part series, and this is what it says. A story-driven, cryptid horror game featuring survival elements where you come face-to-face -face with an Ohio cryptid dubbed the Wolfman. Play as Jane and fight to survive the full moon while uncovering dark secrets in the Wolfman's territory. You guys already know. <laughs> We're going to be chased by another cryptid in somewhere which looks terrifying. Let's go. That dream again. Well... I guess I should get up anyway. I heard like a car crash or something. Is there something going on with James past? Turn off. Oh, that's for the light. Okay. Oh, there's no way. Okay, you guys talk amongst yourselves for a second. I'm just going to start. Oh, he stopped you playing it. Oh, no, that's cruel. I'm an absolute mess. I feel that way now. No, I can't play the piano. Won't be needing any of that today. Is it just makeup and stuff? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Some retro consoles. They don't make them like they used to. Ooh. No, turn that off. No signal. I've slept enough. You guys ever... Oh, are we dreaming? Or is that just... <laughs> What's going on there? I like how you can interact with stuff, though. I don't, I don't know what it is about this. It's, it always makes me think something's going to happen. It's the most, like, simplest of things, but you don't usually always get this, like, interacting with everything that you normally would. All right, let's pick this up. Phone. R to reset rotation, can we? Okay, there we go. So we can look for stuff or clues. Check notifications. One missed call. Looks like Melissa called me. I guess I should call her back. Hold cute call. Hey, Jane. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. Hope you've been all right. Yeah, I've been great, actually. Just busy. How about you? Doing all right. <laughs> Not dead. That's good to hear. I was beginning to wonder. <laughs> Can't get rid of me that easily. Hey, I'm going to be back in town soon. We should hang out. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, Jack actually had an idea where we could go on a little camping trip this weekend. Like old times. Would you be interested? Yeah, that could be fun. Great. I'm so excited. I think James is coming too. Really? What's the occasion? It's a secret. Oh, come on. You'll have to wait. Fine, fine. Ooh, okay, over the headshots. Somewhere in Ohio. Yep, that's usually how these things go. So this is leading up to the camping trip where everything is gonna be bad. Oh, yeah. Right off the jump, this thing is already waiting for us. Well, we're here. So this is Jack. Melissa, this is the campsite. Holy... <laughs> Let's move on. Jack, yeah, nice, isn't it? I don't know. No. I mean, it's a campsite. What... What more do you expect? What do you think? I like it or I'm not a fan. Oh, I can choose. Uh, <laughs> don't look at me like that, Melissa. I don't know what to do. I like that or I'm not. I'm going to say I like it. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. At least we can have a fire. We used to hang out near here forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we should start getting things set up before it gets dark. 
So James, Jack, Melissa, and we're Jane. 6 p.m. Chapter 1, Reunion. So we're just setting up the camp and everything now? There's a really creepy vibe about this style. Because you don't expect much to happen, and it will. You guys already know. Wow. What's going on with that car? Why is it... Why is that so far up? Don't we need to get the fire going? Can't pick this up. So what do you think of the place? It's cool, I guess. A bit eerie, though, isn't it? Yeah. But that's part of the fun. I guess. Hey, don't worry. If anything comes out <laughs> to get us tonight, I got this baby with me. <laughs> Such a chad. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. That makes me feel a bit better. Where did you put that? You know you can always count on me. Winks. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> hey, Melissa. Melissa's my favorite. Hey, sorry if this didn't meet your expectations. I guess I probably should have chose the location. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm just glad to see everyone again. Yeah, me too. It'll be fun to hang out once we get everything set up. Well, how long are you going to take doing that? Not... <laughs> Where's the manual, Jack? What's going on? Are we supposed to be doing ours? No? I mean, sometimes, like, tents and things can be... Whoa, is that dog food? Oh, wait a second. Have these guys, like, baited me out to be part of some kind of, like, hunting expedition? Or am I reading too much into that? It might just be something else. I don't know. Hey, James. Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Well, Melissa really wouldn't take no for an answer. But yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. You need any help with anything? Looks like we forgot to buy the firewood on the way here. Melissa won't be too happy about that. Yeah. There might still be some firewood left over inside a shack that's near here. Do you think you could go grab it? Oh, classic, James. Sure, how do I get there? It's going to be the deepest part of the woods ever. Oh, it's not too far. Just follow the right path and you'll find it. All right, I'll see what I can do. Cool. It's going to get dark soon, though. You should take this. Okay, well, at least we got a light source then. Thanks. Try not to get lost. You can equip items or view objectives through your inventory. It can open by pressing tab or I. Okay. Oh, all right. So we actually have to... Oh, we have to select it in like that. Okay. Battery-powered lantern. A bag, a bag of hot dogs. Why have I, why have I picked these? I'm going to equip them on slot number two. Oh no, we can't do that. Okay. And James is gone. These guys still trying to figure out how to put up a tent. So this way? Yeah, he's already gone. Oh no. Uh. What's he doing? What did he just do? Did he set a trap up or some, something? Stop with the birds. Is that a cage? Wait, did he just cut? Okay, I'm not going over there. I don't know what kind of freaky shit's happening down that side, but I'm going to stick to the right path, which he told me to. There is something. Oh, the birds. Something really creepy about this. Oh. Look at this little guy. He's rummaging through the trash. Hey, no. Oh, he's got rabies. Angry little trash panda. Oh, there's a toilet over there too. Guess we need a poop. So this is an actual campsite then. Because I'm sure that people put put them there for people to use while they're out camping. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The audio is pretty good in this. I didn't expect anything like this. The birds can die in a fire because they're, stress they're stressing me out. So many noises. Hello? Oh, it's open. 
It's all run down. He's watching you. Fear the moon. E and B. Oh, no. Accidentally locked the shed on my way out. Whoops. I think the key should be somewhere in that abandoned vehicle on the cliff. Also, I think something might have died in there. The place reeks. Note added to inventory. So there are the notes then that it said. Let me just check that again. Yeah, so we can go through them. Okay, perfect. Get the key to the shed from the broken down vehicle. Get fired from the shack in the woods. Is this the shack? Are we supposed to go out there? Okay, that's all locked. Oh. Oh. It just went really quiet. I feel like if I step out there right now, something's going to happen. Oh, I was so tense then. Wait, any kind of noise would have set me off then. Stupid birds. I wonder if that's going to be like an early detection though for something coming in. You know, like I'm supposed to be paying attention to that. Just a hint of a noise in the bushes. Oh, there's definitely something surrounding us here. Of course. Of course there's a note in the pooper. It said they stalk the woods at night, forever starving, forever in pain, aching to fill their empty stomachs, to feast on meat and organs. And once you hear their scratches echoing through the trees, it's already too late. So there was something around us then. Can I not peek through this? So it was like up here and it came around this side? Yeah, it did. Look. All of my friends are going to be in pieces right now. You could hear the impact from the size of that thing. It's massive. Probably didn't want to go into the pooper. Doesn't want its meal covered in shit. Big old house. Oh my god! Creepy, isn't it? <laughs> I hate you, James. Actually, you know what? Where have you been? I don't trust you. You pretty much disappeared down that route on your own. And then you just randomly appear here? Oh, James, you scared me. Oh, sorry. Haha, -ha, bitch. <laughs> what were you saying? The house. You can see it from here. Look at all the windows. Oh, yeah, I guess it's pretty creepy. Anyway, it's getting dark soon. Be sure not to get lost out here. You just randomly appeared. When all that creepy stuff was happening. Oh, is this the broken down vehicle they were talking about? There we go. Shack key. Perfect. Do we see him still? Wonder if there's going to be like a telltale sign. Something isn't right. Like him just going down on all fours and just starts running off. Oh, there is stuff. Oh, I wonder if he was just looking at it. Hold on. Can't go this way? I mean, that is really creepy, but I wouldn't mind spending the night in there rather than just being out in the open. Some kind of wolfman just stalking the trees. Okay, what's it telling us to do? Get fired from the shack. Oh, we got to go back to the shack. Wait, I kind of want to see what was down here, though, because there is a cage. 
What is that? The board seems sturdy. I guess they really don't want anyone going inside here. Not that I would want to anyway. I mean, I kind of want to. Going inside mines and caves never ends well for us, but... We've got some experience. Looks like a cage. What's it doing all the way out here? Trying to trap something. Yeah, look. Somebody was posted, sat in the chair with the bottles of water, probably with a rifle. And they're not anymore. All right, let's get back to that shack. I didn't see... Oh, wait, there was a door that we needed the key for, right? Okay, so that's what we got to do. I was going to say, I didn't see anywhere where we could get the firewood from, like axes or something. I'm In my head, I'm like, we got to break up the wood or something. Yeah, some of the audio in this is actually really well done. It's just the subtle movement sounds of like a, a twig breaking or just a slight, slight noise that you can't quite make out what it is. Yeah, this one here. Use the shack key. There we go. There's, there's the firewood. Ew. Bundle of firewood. It's gone pretty dark. I should head back. That sounds like a plan. Is it dead bird? Oh, it's got really dark. <gasps> oh, I see it! Shit, go, 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 go. Oh, there it is! Oh, is there more than one? Oh, that's right. Wait, wait. So, I'm trying to think of, like, the whole werewolf thing. There definitely can be more than one. Oh, look at that. I can just see the eyes. Oh, they faded out, too. Run! Everybody run! As if you would be this calm. It was only, like, a stone's throw away. Oh, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to talk to you guys first. So he's taking them all day to put the tent up. He's still really, really confused about that. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> okay, right, let's put the firewood down. Hey, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. I heard something weird in the woods. There's no way you didn't hear that. Oh, what did it sound like? Okay, yeah, I really don't trust you, James. I don't know, like a wolf or something. Huh, that's strange. Wolves haven't been anywhere near this area in like 200 years or something. And again, that's very specific. Are you sure it wasn't a bobcat? Their scream sounds like a person dying. I mean, a murder kitty is a murder kitty, but that's not what it was. It was definitely a massive wolf. Maybe it was the wolf man. There we go, see? I didn't like you at first, Jack. Now I do. Come on now, Jack. Don't be ridiculous. What? You could be real. You know the stories too. Yeah, I do, and it's made up. What's the wolfman? Just a bit of an urban legend around here. I swear I saw him in the woods one time after a party. And how many drinks have you had that night? I don't know. A few. Mm-hmm. I really did see something, though. It was big and tall with bright eyes. That's exactly what we saw. Oh, Melissa, give me a hug. I'm so stressed. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? Maybe. I can't believe you. I'm sure it's probably nothing. Just freaked me out a bit is all. Yeah, even if a wolf did find its way around here, we're probably fine. Just stay near the camp. Can we get this fire started now? It's getting cold out here. That should have been the first thing you did. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Fine, fine. I'll get it started. See, even James is getting agitated now. There you go. The bare minimum you want to do, especially if you know the stories around this area, is get a fire going. Whoa. Oh, no, it's going to switch to, like, nighttime when we're all asleep or something. <laughs> it's going to be terrifying. Everybody's going to be gone.
the size of that. Jane, what are you looking at? <laughs> the moon, Melissa. The moon. Uh, oh, sorry. It's just that it's a full moon out tonight. So it is. Sure is pretty, huh? It is, Melissa. It's very pretty. Yeah. Well, when you're done admiring it, come and get your food. It's getting cold. Okay, cool. Thanks. Just want to see if there's a silhouette of anything. None of us are wearing any silver jewelry, right? Wrap it around your fist and just punch it or something. Ooh, fill bowl. Oh, we got to like... Where you guys get all your bowls from? Why are you sat over here, you little weirdo? Jane, what's up? Oh, you're wasted, aren't you, James? I only forgot your name. <laughs> hey, James. Nice night, huh? Yeah. It's quiet out here. It is. Just nice to get away from everything, you know? Relaxing. Hey, want a drink? Absolutely not. I'm good for now, thanks. All right. All right, give me a bowl. I want to grub out. We get one? What are you guys eating? What is this? Fill bowl. Oh, okay, we gotta select it then. Like that, and then hold to eat. There we go, filling it. Nice. I should sit down before I eat. This is cozy, just sitting around the campfire and just waiting to die. <laughs> you know? James, I really wish you'd stop being weird and come sit over here. Oh, wait, what? Gross slurp noises. <laughs> that spoon would spin round like a knight and just take your eye out. No questions asked either. You don't do that. You don't drink from a bowl with a spoon in it like that. Well, I've definitely done it, but it's stupid. Gross slurp noises. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep going with this. Sure, there we go. See Melissa staring at me? Oh, there you are. Well, this is nice and awkward. <laughs> what are we... Oh, it's nice to see you guys again. Yeah, I'm glad I ended up coming. It's been a while, hasn't it, since we were all together. Yeah, like almost a year now. Jack? You were right. The sky looks nice out there. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice to get away from all the light pollution. Nobody says that, Jack. Well... Actually, some people might say that, especially if they don't take time to get away from, like, cities and stuff. So, do you guys want to hear the legend of the Wolfman? Oh, great. This again. Hey, I know it can be obsessed with cryptic stuff sometimes, but this one is really creepy. Okay, I'm kind of liking Jack all of a sudden now. Okay, sure. What's the Wolfman? Okay, so it's an urban legend out here. About the man that used to own this property. He disappeared a long time ago. And there's stories that he never actually left. And instead, turned into a wolfman that lurks the woods. Attacking and eating animals. And even humans. That sounds silly. It actually gets more twisted than that. He had a sort of animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs. He would take in and take care of. He lived completely alone aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew was gone for a long time. James, you are absolutely blasted. When someone finally came out to check on him, they found something truly terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death, locked inside rooms and cages. Scratches and blood all over the walls and doors. Oh my god, that's awful. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started eating each other. Some say it was the owner himself that ate them after he turned into the Wolfman. But really, it's just stories told to try and keep kids from coming out here underage drinking. Plus, with all the parties that used to happen out here, stories were bound to be made up from things people thought they saw or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. Yeah, that's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops started cracking down on the place after that. So, why are we out here? For old time's sake. Plus, all the danger makes it more exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out at that old campground, would you? 
It's okay. The most dangerous thing out here is deer and bobcats. Bobcats will mess you up, James. Stop saying that. Oh, it's Jack that said it before. Oh, and Jack here. Dangerously handsome, maybe. <laughs> Such a C. There's moments where I like Jack, and then he says some dumb shit like that. Are we good? Am I just supposed to stare into the moon now? After that creepy-ass story you just told? Stand up. It's been nice catching up, but I think I'm gonna head to sleep. Yeah, same. Today has me beat. Wait, before you guys go, Jack and I have something to tell you. Oh, right. Oh, what is it? Well, I guess I'll just say it. We're getting married! Shit! I mean, oh, cool. Yep, finally decided to tie the knot. Wow. I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, I'm hoping you'll be my best man, bro. Mm, yeah, for sure, man. And I want you there too, Jane. Just like we used to talk about as kids. Sure, wouldn't miss it. Right in front of my eyes. <sighs> Disgusting. You guys go ahead. Jack and I are going to hang out a little longer, I think. I know what you're going to be doing. Don't you get any ideas either, you drunken bastard. You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Oh, so we're actually not a couple then. Oh, I thought there was something going on between Jane and James, but there's not. Actually, you know what? I want to stay in the van. You can stay in the tent. That sounds like a way better idea. You know, you can just put the seats down, throw something comfy on that, and then... You got, like, a, a cage over here as well. And the bugs as well. I know it's not technically camping. But that's what I do. Oh! Not really my thing. Yeah, it's you. Drunk and high. So have I got to go... Wait, let me have a look at the van. Yeah, this is so much better than being in a tent. Especially after what I'd seen today. Enter tent. Oh no. Oh, it's at the cabin. Where we got the firewood from. That's what happens, going off for some midnight excursions. Nothing ever ends well with that. And there's Melissa. Did I just hear a scream? Sounded like it came from the old shack. I should make sure everyone's okay. Right, James. Wait, Jack had a bat. Oh, he probably took it with him. Pick up the lantern. Throw that on there. James, get up. Seems empty. I wonder where James... <gasps> I knew he was sus. Wait. Maybe he didn't actually go to bed. Maybe he stayed up doing this stuff. And then when he heard the screams, he's gone ahead. Oh, could you imagine this? <laughs> oh, deep in the middle of the woods, somewhere in Ohio... And then you just hear a scream come from nowhere and you realize it's your friends. You... You have to go and find out what's happening. I don't know if you guys know about... Oh, that's so distracting. I don't want to get knee deep into something I'm telling you guys and then have to sprint for my life, but... If you guys have actually ever heard of, like, the condition of lycanthropy or, or lycanthropy. I don't know how which way you're supposed to say it. I say it the first way. But I believe it actually is classed as a, a mental disorder where people genuinely think they are a wolf or some kind of animal like that or creature like that. But it actually is a real thing. 
I swear I just heard something breathing up there. Right, let's go and check out the shack. Got lights on. Melissa? Jane! What happened here? I don't know! Me and Jack were just out here messing around and something attacked us. It all happened so fast I couldn't really tell what was happening. But I think Jack is hurt. Like, really hurt. But this thing, it was so big and fast. It just picked him up and took him away. Like it was nothing. I think we have to get out of here. I don't know if we can help him. At least, not on our own. You would leave your fiancé like that? Okay, okay, we should get help. Yeah, we need to get to the van. But Jack had the keys. I think he dropped them in here somewhere. We have to find them. Oh, there's his bat. Right, pick that up. Hold on. Let me put that on there. Ready weapon. Oh, there we go. Let's give some... Start smacking stuff. Melissa, you had your chance. <laughs> no? Okay. Right, wait a second. What we're looking for? The keys? So we ripped him through that bit there. Not in there. No, you didn't go in there. There they are. Van keys. I got them. Hey, I found the van keys. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Okay, let's go. Oosh. Ooh. Jack! Is that you? Are you alive? You wanted to- Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! Oh, that noise was so sick! I have to get out of here. Go! Don't stop. Keep going. Oh, any noise now is setting me off. This is genuinely, like, scary as well. Like I said before, you don't expect that with this style, but it can get, like, really uncomfortable. Wait, wait, wait. Bring that back out. Van keys. There we go. Open. Get in. Start the car. Reverse. <gasps> Is it on the roof? Use the back! Ah, oh, there it is! Wait. Oh, look, it didn't eat us. So we were bitten by this thing. Chapter 1 end. Thanks for playing. If you liked it, consider wishlisting. I'm a solo dev, so it helps a ton. So the next version is Q2. 2024. Okay, so kind of a short and sweet indie horror game there. I really like that. As much as like certain parts of it look goofy with this kind of art style, there's moments, especially with the ambient sounds, that are really unnerving. And I kind of want to finish the chapters too, so <laughs> if you guys do want to see more of this, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> So sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs>